Hi, I'm Danny, and I have recently got on Tinder, um, and I just kind of want to share the top 10 things that I've learned, not just about the Tinder itself, but myself, <laughs> preference, and uh, the strange things people do on it. So, okay, so number one, like, is every man an entrepreneur? Like, I kept swiping through and they're like, oh, job, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. I'm like, does that mean a sp steady paycheck? I don't I don't think so. I think that means I'm trying to come up with ideas to make as much money as possible. <laughs> and that means I'm not working on a steady job. There's no nine to five. I'm just an entrepreneur. I'm just thinking ideas for whatever, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> second thing. I've never seen so many men over six feet. I don't believe it. I'm 5'9", and majority of the men that I see in my day-to-day -day life in New York City, in Queens, are 5'9", 5'10", and shorter. And no no judgment if you're a vertically challenged man. I mean, there's somebody for you, but it's not me. And I just don't believe also that there's like that many guys over six feet. I've never seen that many guys over, like at a bar, you never see that many guys over six feet. So I'm like six, four, six, five, six, six. I'm like, really? <laughs> Shut up. It's like you could start your own basketball team with how many men over six feet are on Tinder and they're single. Sketchy at best. Um, the third, I love a good beard. That's an immediate right, right swipe. Like yum. Good beard means you really handle your care and that's that's sexy. I love I love a good thick hipster beard, not a hipster beard, but I like a good thick beard. I think that's sexy. So, um another thing I noticed is like a smile. If you're smiling in all six possible pictures that you could post, that's a yes because that means you're a happy person. Only happy people smile. In my pictures, I'm smiling in each and every one. If you're giving a grimace, how do you expect to have a date? Like, I mean, I mean, there's some girls who like serious guys, but all of that grimacing, like there's no joy, there's no happiness, there's no rainbows, like, so disheartening to see that many men with <laughs> the grimace is like, oh my God, no, no, thank you, left swipe. So yeah, a good smile is a good thing. Smile, at least in five out of six. Can we get five out of six smiles instead? Like, do you have any pricks? You're too busy trying to pose and be all this dark black and white and these artistic shots and no smile. Like, that's the most important thing. We're trying to get to know each other. I need a smile. Sorry, that's my cat. Um, Six. Naked torso. Really? If you're willing to expose yourself online to whoever may be looking, that means you're willing to share your torso with whoever who's looking. And I can't. That's disgusting. No, I, no judgment. I mean, if you want to, if you're proud of your physique, be proud of your physique. But you could put on a t-shirt, and we could see that you're built from a t-shirt. You know, like just angle it right. We'll see that you have a good body. You don't have to like, oh yeah, look at my abs, and that obligatory gym shot, like. That's an immediate left swipe. Like, say you like, just type it in your bio. I like to go to the gym, not, look at me, I'm lifting up mad weights. <laughs> like, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's hard to take a man like that seriously. And I'm, I'm, I don't mean to judge, but it's just, it's so funny to me. It's, I shouldn't laugh. I, I, you know, who am I? I'm not, I'm, I'm no beauty queen, but like, do we need a gym shot? Like, do, do we need to show you working out at the gym? You could just tell us. And as you get to know her, She'll know that you go to the gym. And if she, when she sees you, she knows you work out. Shouldn't it, should it be enough? Anyhow. But I also notice the men with the gym shot, they don't write anything. It's it's blank. They, they don't even want to use any of the characters. So that says something to me as well. Like, can we get a biography on that? Um, number six. Where did you get a tiger? I just, I just want to know because I, I want a tiger too. I really, I really want a tiger. So if you could tell me how to hook that up, that'd be great. Um, getting to know somebody via messages is really boring to me. Like, I'm not witty. 
I'm a writer, but I'm not witty via text. Like I'm an 80s baby, early 80s baby, texting and social media is ingrained into my generation, but I'm still old school in the sense that I think I make my best impression face to face, eye contact and everything. And I don't know. It's just getting to know somebody like, oh, how are you? Well, how are you? And what did you do today? What did you do today? What's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? It's like, that's not going to make a relationship. That's not going to make a good date. Like it's, it's boring. Like I need, I need to, I need the vibe. Like it's so, it's boring getting to know people that way. Okay. Man with multiple selfies is irksome. It is. It is. It's just like, you know, the funny thing is when it's a woman with multiple selfies, oh, she's vain. Um, she's like Kim Kardashian. But a man with multiple selfies tells me that you don't have any friends or your friends don't like to take your picture or your or the best part. Th this could be the best option. The man who has more selfies is so busy living his life that he doesn't take pictures when he's out and about living his life and you know that that's possible but then you see so many other men who are taking pictures when they are at, at like skydiving and swimming and doing all these adventurous things so it makes me think well the guy in the bathroom with his camera all of them six pictures this angle camera this angle camera's like it's it's a little irksome i don't i don't know if they know that um let me Swivel. Drugstore wine. Yum. Um, okay. Number nine. Are those glasses prescription? I'm just wondering. Like, I've never seen so many men, and they're usually from Brooklyn, whose glasses with those Buddy Holly Clark Kent glasses. So my question to you is, do you need those to read? Do you need them to see? Are they prescription or are they a part of the persona you're making just to get a date or a hookup? I'm just wondering. There's so many of them. I In real life, I'd never see that many men with glasses on. I'm just wondering if it's real. Like there's this strange, inauthentic vibe about how they present themselves in these pictures. And just it's such a stream of like glasses and stuff. I'm like, is that really... Do you need those or are you just, is it cute for you? That cat again. Um, number 10. I read the biography. I'm not one of those girls who sees a good looking guy and ignores what he has to say. What you have to say is more important than how you look. I will right swipe a, a good biography, a witty biography, an interesting biography. So if you have grammatical errors in your biography, that says a lot about you. That means you can't be bothered to proofread 500 characters. If you're really trying to get to know somebody, and granted, maybe the message is more important, but this is who you are. You're taking a couple of seconds to present yourself to a huge pool of people, and you can't be bothered to see if it's grammatically correct. That's kind of... And maybe, you know, it's not that serious. You know, Tinder is fun. It's fun and funny, obviously. But proofread? <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because of me, because I'm an English major. I love to proofread everything. I proofread anything that I write, text message, the whole gamut, proper punctuation, semicolons, all of that. So it's a pet peeve of mine. Proofread 500 characters. It'll, as fast as you wrote it, it's as fast to proofread it. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, so that's what I've learned from Tinder. Um, it's been interesting. Uh, I haven't had that any success really. I mean, there, there's guys, I've talked to some guys, um, but it's, just, it's actually just fun getting to know people and talk to them and just, you know, uh, get my feet wet in terms of how do you converse with people you haven't learned, known half your life? Because majority of the people I talk to are people I've known half my life or I work with. So this is good to just get like a feel for it and whatnot. So um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll do an update. Or maybe I'll meet Prince Charming. I sincerely doubt that though, but it's fun. And um, yeah, okay. Well, 
And why do everyone put like their Instagram? Like, do you really want random people knowing your Instagram and just looking all up in your Kool-Aid and knowing where you are and being all up in your life like that? I don't know. I should do a video about like how I feel towards social media because social media in and of itself is kind of like, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. So thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.